It was after the Civil War. There was a Homestead Act, and if a young person that was 21, could, he could buy it for a dollar 25 an acre. I think would be happy to have the land be a part of the new frontier today. Electric cooperatives have a very distinct difference in the way they operate. Uh, the major component of that is the fact that the customers that we serve are also the owners of the cooperative. The members have been reading lots of information about different types of uh, solar and other renewable products that are out there. They don't always understand exactly how it works. They, they sometimes think that it's free which of course it's not. It takes a, a large investment to try to capture those free resources. The members of KEPCO have always been very thoughtful about their power supply. And with the nuclear plant that was built some 30 years ago, with allocation of our hydro resources that we get from the federal government, and now with our purchases of wind, through our purchase power agreements and our ownership in our solar farm, we receive over 50% of the energy requirements to serve our members' load comes from non-greenhouse gas emitting resources. So we've seen an explosion of solar across the country over the last really 10 years or so, eight or 10 years. And as the number of solar installations that have been built across the country has increased, um, the economics of solar have really improved. So we've seen costs for solar installations come down by, by several factors. And so when we built this farm, we really wanted it to be an integral part of our, of our mix. We also wanted to do something on a scale that was something manageable, something we could design, engineer, build ourselves, and really integrate it into our system as something that allowed the board, the staff, um, the folks we've worked with across NRECA and others to really get the experience of building solar so that we can leverage this first experience toward, toward the future for solar. The, uh, the KEPCO staff uh, presented the idea of solar power for as part of our generation mix uh, to the board. KSI, Mark Barbie and, and his group presented uh, some basic information about community solar to the board. And at that time, then the board decided that they wanted uh, more information you know, for the longest time, solar was uh, thought of to be more expensive and the cost of the solar panels and uh, those kinds of things have come down. And uh, when we got that information, we found out that it was, truly was economical for us to do that and it made the decision to go forward even easier. The first thing we did was consider, okay, what kind of a project would we do? And really a big benefit of that was our national association, the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association. So they put together a PV manual, a photovoltaic manual that talked about financing, uh, constructing, designing, operations and maintenance, all that kind of stuff. And they, they put a really good resource together. And then they also put together some design templates. And these templates, you can't just take them and cookie cutter and put it out there, but they give you the flavor of what the design needs to entail. In 2015, the IRS reallocated approximately $280 million in NCREBS to the electric cooperatives. And it was only to be used for um, renewable energy projects. So KEPCO, um, decided to use that type of financing. You had to apply for that financing from the government and then get accepted. And once we got accepted, we got a $2.1 million allocation. And then we used CFC, Cooperative Finance Corporation, to finance those bonds. And um, that's just traditional financing. But what makes NCREBS unique is the government turns around and they give you a reimbursement or a subsidy on the interest expense. So that brought down the rate to a very favorable rate, a little bit over 1%. The rural, the rural people started this a long time ago. The costs have come down considerably and we feel they might come down more in the future. We've started one project and, and completed it and it's running well. We hope to add more in the next three or four years. The cooperatives are a rural organization. We're out at the end of the line, so to speak. And everybody out there, most people are very rural and they've been doing a lot of these projects. On their own, they can't really do it, but together as a cooperative, 
they can do it together and build a force that will be viable for the future.